Hello, YouTube. What? Watch this. Stop recording. Hehehe. <laughs> Hello there, my attractive viewer. You look very cute today, and I have listened to your calls. We will cover the no recoil act. So, regularly in shooter games, you have recoil, which means the crosser moves when you shoot. This is annoying and requires additional brain usage to counter, and we don't want that. So, we will find the exact instructions that causes this move and disable it, resulting in shooting in a straight line like a death ray. So if you want to learn more game hacking, then join the channel. Let's hit 10k subs already, leave a like, as well as a video suggestion. Since I'm a small YouTuber, I'll probably respond to it. Join the Discord server. Don't be a douche. Do not use sheets for unfair advantages. Do not use it in multiplayer. You will get banned. Just don't do it. All Sweat C Sharp tutorials are designed with multiplayer disabled. Now enjoy this tutorial. Welcome to today's showcase. So, the no recoil script or whatever. Let's take a look at it. Here I have my first person shooter game. You can use your firearms to shoot, but there's a lot of recoil as you can see. And the crosshair moves up. You can see a straight line. We'll find out in this tutorial is to use this no record feature. So if we enable this and now shoot, you can see that it stays in a perfect circle instead of going up. Instead of having the crosshair to move, we don't have to do anything at all. We can just hold down and shoot, aim. We can also combine it with the previous tutorial, tutorial rapid fire, to make something insane. Explosion! Alright, welcome to today's tutorial. So, make sure that you have your shooter game ready that had a, or has a weapon or system that allows you to shoot and have a record and also have Sheet Engine installed. I have a tutorial on installing and downloading Sheet Engine without any bloatsware, so make sure that you have the executable ready and we can start. So, think of the game like this usually in games it would be alongside two axes the y-axis or the pitch and then the x-axis so what really happens when you shoot in game and it causes a recall it will say perhaps plus five degrees on the y-axis and plus five the x axis. This will then calculate a new vector which push pushes the crosshair to be at the other location. So what we will do is we will shoot in game, then once we know that the recoil offset has changed, we will search for changed value. And or the reason for searching for changed value instead of a positive value is because this offset might move in a negative manner, so it might be minus 5 and minus 5. So we search for change value once the recoil changes and then scan through the game. Once we have found this recoil value, we will freeze it so it will be set hopefully to zero and the crosshair won't be able to move. Let's get right into it. I will search for a float value, it's typically a float value, and it's unknown initial value as the start because I don't know the initial value. So we hit first scan, then we go in game, we shoot, allowing us to have the recoil, and then 
like we said, search for changed value. We let the recoil go down and then search for changed value again. So this is sort of what you do. You can also search for unchanged value when you know you haven't added any recoil to remove values that just jump around. And then shoot again, search for changed value. Wait for the cooldown, search for changed value again. Change value. Change value. I have hotkeys for this under settings. Hotkeys for the changed value scan page down. So I can just hit a key and it makes it way more easy or easier to do this scan. So I shoot, changed value, changed value. So we do this until we have a couple of addresses left. So I have 117 addresses and I think that will do. So we select the first one. It would be way better if you had a lower amount, but I'll guess this has to work. Select one, select the last one, shift, like that. And we can click on the value to group them by values that sort of feel better. So we can see that we have some odd numbers here. Let's investigate the zero values first because they seem the most logical. So if we select a couple of these, make sure that you don't crash the game when you select these. So the crosshair doesn't uh, stay put there. Not there either. So we check these. First, if they don't work, you want to get okay, looking numbers. Nothing. Right on. Nothing there. Check these. And you can see that it tries to stay in place. So it's one of these four addresses right there. Let's remove the second two. And we can see that the crosshair moves up, which means it is one of these lower values. So actually, let's remove all of the other values because we have found for address. If we remove that one, we can see that it actually is this this address. If we freeze it when it's zero, you can see that our crosshair jumps around. And we can test that this would fit for our no recall with using the what writes or find out what writes to this address. So make sure that you have the Debugger options VEH debugger, which I show in the installment of Sheet Onion. And use right click, then find out what writes to this address. Here you now shoot. And we can see that this value seems to come up more. Let's go into this assembler and remove that. Right click, replace with code that does nothing. And we can now see that we don't have no or have any record. We shoot at the wall, it stays in place. If we we can right click restore with original code to see or to get the recall back. 
So that's how you get no recall. And if you wanted to create a script for this, you can click on tools, auto table, and you have your no recall. Just like that, and you can enable it. Have no recall. Disable it. Have recall. Amazing. Look at that. No recall. You could probably find the spread in a similar way, but still, this is pretty cool. Alright, see ya.